वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय अब्दुल राफे सुहेल फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज अपील्ड इंटायर नेशन टू एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेट इन ट्री प्लांटेशन कैंपेन टू सिक्योर फ्यूचर ऑफ कमिंग जनरेशन शिबाज शरीफ इनोग्रेटेड स्कूल ऑन व्हील्स प्रोग्राम टू प्रोवाइड एजुकेशन टू चिल्ड्रन स्पेशली इन रूरल एरियाज एट देयर डोर स्टेप्स Minister for Power says Shanghai Thar Coal Power Project has started generating 2640 megawatt electricity that will help in overcoming load shedding and reducing electricity prices. And in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one more Kashmiri youth in Pulwama district today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif formally launched countrywide spring tree plantation campaign in Islamabad today. Speaking on the occasion, the Prime Minister appealed entire nation to actively participate in the tree plantation campaign to secure the future of our coming generations. He said during this campaign 240 million trees will be planted across the country. The Prime Minister stressed for enhancing the country's forest cover to meet with the negative impacts of climate change. The Prime Minister said the recent devastating floods which inflicted a loss of 30 billion dollars to the economy and displaced millions of people has further highlighted the significance of forests. He said we will have to take practical steps for environment protection and enhance green areas in urban areas. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif today inaugurated Schools on Wheels program to provide education to the children especially in the rural areas at their doorsteps. Speaking on the occasion, the Prime Minister was appreciative of the initiative, saying it will be a singular contribution towards nation building efforts. He was confident that this program will bring revolution in the rural areas by equipping hundreds of thousands of children there with education. The Prime Minister directed to widen the scope of the program to all the four provinces Azad Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan. He assured full cooperation in the implementation of this program. Earlier, Minister for Education Ranat Tanveer Hussain briefed the Prime Minister about various aspects of this program, saying the initiative is initially being launched with eight buses. He said food will also be provided to the children getting education through these mobile schools. Minister for Power Engineer Khurram Dastagir has said that Shanghai Thar Coal Power Project has started generating 2640 megawatt electricity utilizing local fuel. Addressing a news conference in Islamabad today, he said the PDM government under the leadership of Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif made hectic efforts to produce electricity using local fuel and added 1980 megawatts electricity in the system over the past 9 months. The Minister for Power said that the project it will not only control load shedding but also help in reducing electricity prices in the country khuram dastagi said thar coal has 175 tons of reserves which is sufficient to generate 100000 megawatts of electricity he said the government is tirelessly working on the power projects and another power project of thal nova thar coal power project having capacity to generate 330 megawatt electricity has also been centralized the minister said iran gawadar transmission line project has also been completed which will be inaugurated soon by prime minister mohammad shahbaz sharif he said the government has launched a project of generating 6000 megawatt electricity through solar energy and in the first phase request for proposal for establishing a 600 megawatt project in muzaffargarh has also been floated Minister of State for Foreign Affairs Hina Rabani Khair has said Pakistan looks forward to enhancing relations with the brotherly country of Kuwait in all areas of mutual interest especially health skilled manpower IT food and security addressing an event in Islamabad today in connection with the 60th anniversary of the establishment of Pakistan Kuwait diplomatic relations the minister of state said both the countries have covered a good distance in strengthening their bilateral relations she pointed out that Pakistan Kuwait investment company continues to be an important force to bind businesses between the two countries and create opportunities Israeli settlers have attacked villages in the West Bank setting ablaze dozens of cars and houses of Palestinians. One Palestinian was martyred and more than 390 others wounded in the Israeli settlers rampage in Nablus. 
The 17th match of Pakistan Super League will be played between Peshawar Zalmi and Karachi Kings at Pindi Cricket Stadium tomorrow. The match will start at 7 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. And that is all for now. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistannewsofficial.